Welcome to a video from TheDigitalLifestyle.com In this video I'm going to look at the new Redstone 5 build for Windows 10 This is 17741 Windows is acting on a fast ring Getting close to the edge of the development of um, Getting close to the end of the development of uh, Redstone 5 And this is uh, a build with not a lot of new features But there are a number of fixes and the known issue list is getting nice and small So the first thing that Microsoft call out in the release notes Is your phone is there pin to start. I didn't have it installed on this machine before, now it's there and uh, I can link it to my Android phone and um, I've got a video showing this off but basically you can go into here, link it with your phone and um, it'll approve it on my phone and then I can just view all the photos, store them on my phone, interact with them and in the future you'll be able to do messaging and notifications and so on. So that's the main change, that that pin is there. So the other changes are just fixes, they fix the emoji panel um, for searching, they fix some taskbar flyouts with the acrylic background, let's have a look. Oh yeah, I can see they've done that, yep. Yeah. Um, they fix certain app, uh, apps were quitting from the system tray. Um, there's some, you can see from this, there's plenty of fixes, but all fairly minor. The uh, visual effects are all back in here as well, the last build introduced those back again, they were missing in the previous build. There's still a few uh, known issues, if you delete a locally synced, uh, a folder on the machine that's synced to OneDrive it could green screen to death, uh, some ease of access issues and still if you set Windows Reality headset up for the first time with motion controllers you have to repair a second time before appearing in the headset. That's been in there for some time actually but that's the main uh, issues with those with this build. I, I do like these Redstone 5 builds now, they are pretty solid, working really well, especially if you're a Windows Mixed Reality user, um, because Steam VR is integrated into it now, so um, you can launch your Steam VR games directly from Windows Mixed Reality. There's the flashlight feature, so you can use the camera of the Mixed Reality headset. I've got a separate video on this, have a look on our YouTube channel. So those are the main changes with this build. Uh, coming to the end of the development, and uh, go on our YouTube channel, you'll see the next uh, development of the next Windows 10 build, 19H1, and uh, you can see some videos of that as well. So thanks for watching this video.